Pachinko bowl out of plaster of Paris and just some water. But before I get started, um, I have a live feed going on Instagram right now, and uh, whoever's in it's going to get a shout out. So I'm going to give it a shout out to. And the, yeah, actually, let me see here. Hold on. Underscore, 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 six underscores, A U N T, six more underscores. That's the shout out, and as people join, I'll give them shout outs as they come in. So, let's just get the video started. So go follow him on Instagram and Settle 86. Go follow him on Instagram. Thank you guys for uh, joining and just trying to video right now from YouTube. Here's the video of uh, the camera. I'm just going to make the video. So, guys, what we're having is Plaster of Paris. Um, really cheap. I got this at Walmart for like it's four pounds. I got it for like three ninety seven or something. Really cheap, you're gonna need two cups of that. Um, and then you're gonna need one cup of water. Uh, like plastic bowl kind of thing. Just make sure it was, what it really works is if it has round edges. If it has round edges, um, then you, it makes it easier to come out and you're gonna want to make sure that you can uh, bend it because it makes it easier to come out as well. Um, then you're going to need however many like baits I can see. At this size of a bowl, I'm going to fit three baits. I could probably fit four, but I'm only going to do three. Put uh, three or however many baits you can fit of the bait that you want to make. Preferably for this video, so if you hear something, um, I am going to do a Senko. So, to get started, oh, and you're going to need Vaseline. I will show you why, because this is a two pound bowl. You're going to need two marbles, or anything that, like, it's kind of like round or something. So pretty much what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to take, once you have, uh, have your two, what's up? Okay, guys, go subscribe. I mean, go uh, follow Bassus underscore Sesson 626 on Instagram. He just joined the chat. Go hit him up. Two brushes, any brushes, and uh, just make sure there's, you have two brushes. One small and one like a little bit bigger one. This is a three fourths inch, and this is just a little small one. Um, and you're going to want, like, a knife or something just to, like, clean it up. A small knife. Don't make it like a giant knife. Or it's not gonna work. Okay. Now put this aside right now. And I forgot something, so I will be back. All right, you guys. So I'm back. I'm gonna go get a uh, a mixer. But yeah, I just lied to you. I was actually uh. Did make the other part of the video. I'm just happy I cut it here because I made it and it like dried instantly and it really made me mad because I didn't get everything. I had to throw it away. It like dried really fast. And I didn't get everything I wanted done with it and it cracked and then I had to throw it away. So try this again. I don't, I'm just gonna try and mix faster, longer. I don't know if we cop. My mom interrupted me. I don't know if this is two cups. Anyway, because now I'm probably going to have to make two parts to this. I'll make the first part and then the second part. The first part will be the first layer. The second part will be the second layer. 
because I need more plaster and I'll probably go out tomorrow and get it. Let's try and mix as fast as we can right now. I used cold water just so that it lasts longer. It's supposed to last longer if you use cold. Okay, that's all I'm going to mix it. Because I don't want to dry it. Okay, mix some. Dump it on one side. Dump it in. And that's a better way to do it right there. That worked. 10 times better. I just added like a tiny little bit more water. And then I can get all of my plaster out of the bottom of my cup. There we go. Now I'll just this mix a little bit in here maybe. There we go. That'll work out. No. See it is, it's really liquidy, but that's alright. I might not even be able to put my worms in it yet. Um, I'll try to. Oh, that's a lot of real bubbles. you really. Yeah, put them in now. Right. I'm going to try and fit, get them close to the edge. Possible like that. Get them as close to the edge. You can use whatever you need to to move them around a little bit. I'm going to try and get it close to the edge. There you go. That is actually perfect. Okay, my next one is going to go in right next not right next to it. Leave a little bit of base. Goes in. There we go. Use your little tool here. I'm going to lift it up so about half of it is in and half of it is out. And I'm going to push it close to the edge. There we go. Number three. Get it close to the edge. Drop it in that. There we go. Three molds, I mean, three worms are in. You can lift it if you want to. You can, like, move it around or feel like it. Just try and not get as much, try not to get a lot of the plaster on the top of the bait. So here it is, that's what it looks like when I got the worms in. See how I have them nice and close up to the edge here. That's so when let me try and fix this. Yeah, that's good. That's for when um, I drill go and go to drill the holes to dump my mold into. I have an easy access and I know exactly where to drill. So Right now I'm just trying to get all the air bubbles out as I can. Or I need them away from my bait. Because you do not want your air bubbles and air bubbles close. Because if they get close, then they actually get in the 
the form, and you don't want that. So next, what you're gonna do when, because I can't do, you can't do this right now, because it is still really liquidy. You're gonna get two marbles, but if you have something like round, like about this size, that's white, you can do it. But if I put this in right now, it'll just sink onto the bottom like that. It'll just sink to the bottom, and so you don't want to do that. You want to wait a little bit so it dries up a little bit to where we, you can put them in and they're half and half out. So I'll be back when I can do that. All right, so now I can put the marbles in because it's settled a little bit, so I can they'll hold up the marbles. I already got one of them in because I was testing it. But you're gonna want to line them up kind of like that. Get them to set in there about halfway. And that's pretty much it for that part. I got all the air bubbles to the side. Um, so I'll be back when it's done drying. Alright you guys. Um, oh. Alright you guys, I'm back. And um, it's now completely dry. I let it go for about an hour. Hour and a half, almost two hours actually. So now I'm just going to show you, this is sort of why you need the good... Um, bendable like container bend it a little bit and it opens like that so where you can flip it over some stuff will come out and it'll come out it doesn't look perfect I know and then you can just take your marbles or whatever you have there out sometimes they're a little rough there you go. Marbles are out. You've got nice clean holes here. With all of this, I'll just clean it up with the knife. Clean up all the edges and stuff. Set that down. Take my knife. Now I'll just go around and I'll clean it up. That's where all those air bubbles are sitting at. That's why you don't want them in your lures. it up a little bit um, got anything on your baits you don't want to clean that up that's what your brush is going to be for I'm getting all these air bubbles out and clean this up okay clean them air bubbles up pretty good actually I'm going to take my little brush here yeah, you know, get all that off of it. Cause you don't want any debris on there. And I'm actually gonna. This is a lot of like dirt I and mean, plaster here, and I don't want that getting everywhere. So I'll just clean it up real quick. Trash can. Scoop it on in. Yeah, that's all. That's all it takes. And if the bait comes out a little bit, that's perfectly fine. I'm gonna actually take I don't it out there to be the one here, right here. Um, I don't want that in the plaster when I pour it on top, so I'm gonna turn it over and see how that works out. So I'm just gonna, you know, get all of this plaster off of the worms. This is gonna be a two-part video, guys. Like I said. Works, it works. I'm not complaining, you know. Take it off. And you go in there. And there. Yeah, look at that. Yeah, look at the 
real nice. You know what I'm saying? Okay, I'm at already six minutes. This is a long video. I'll come back when I'm done doing everything to it. Alright. So, I cleaned it up pretty well. It looks pretty nice. I mean, hey, whatever. But um, now I'm going to take these baits out, actually. I'm going to flip them. So if they have them ridges in them, it makes the bait look really weird. You don't need that in them. So, yeah. If you can see that, take them out. See how it looks. Yeah, no air bubbles. Number one. Number two. Oh, crap. Number two. No air bubbles, no air bubbles. Come on. Heck yeah, no air bubbles. All the way throughout, there are no air bubbles. That makes me feel really good. I'll show you guys what it kind of looks like over right here. A really nice mold start. Now I'm just going to flip them beats around. Push them in there. Like I said, it does not matter. If you take them out, they'll look perfectly fine if you put them back in. Okay, perfectly fine. That doesn't even look like I took them out. Number two, put it on there. Be careful, you know, not to screw up the mold. That would never be, that would never be good, you know. Number two, and then one more. Actually, start. Pushing it in the bottom first. By going that I'm just making. There we go. Looks real good. I got these all the way up to the edge. Yeah. Now I'll just clean it off a little bit more. Make sure to clean this brush off. Don't want anything on the brush when I'm cleaning them off. Real pretty. All right, you guys. That's all for part one of this video. Remember to like, subscribe, and comment for more. Just hit 14 subscribers. Pretty happy about that. Hit it when I was making this video. Actually, so pretty happy about that. Remember to like, subscribe, and comment for more. See you guys in part two.